Robert A. McCaffrey, CEO, and Karen Bonadelli McCaffrey, Vice President, McCaffrey Homes. Building homes and supporting communities are part of the DNA at McCaffrey Homes, where the husband and wife team have grown a land development and residential building firm to include more than 8,000 residences in central San Joaquin Valley. I actually knew from the beginning, I love this business, this industry, and I wanted to be a part of it. I'm a daughter of a home builder, John Bonadelli, and he built Bonadelli Homes. My dad would take us as children, and he would bring us out to the communities, and he would share with us his dreams and his visions. He'd say to us as we were walking out, and he'd be leading ponies, we'd be riding ponies, and he'd say, you know, we're going to build homes here, and we're going to put the main street into the community here. Karen, where would you put the model homes? And I'd say, I don't know, Dad, I guess in the middle. No, no, no. You need visibility. You put them up against the main street. Never forget that, visibility. I remembered it all my life. At about the age of nine, I started working at the office after hours and during the summers. I would first began assisting the receptionist in answering the phones. It was a real switchboard. Think Lily Tomlin. And by the time I went away to college, I had worked in the various departments and had a pretty good overview of the business and, and the different areas. Bob's strong work ethic and sense of determination started at an early age, working on his family's farm in Bakersfield, California. My mom was a school teacher, and my dad worked for Kern County. They didn't have a lot of money, so what I had to do was I had to work for a living. And growing up on the farm taught me how to not be afraid of any jobs, not be afraid of long hours and not be afraid of hard work. Some of the jobs that I did, uh, to name just a few, and I did a lot of them, was I uh, picked cotton. Back in those days, it was before the cotton picker machine, and you'd have that big old 10 foot long sock, and you'd walk down the rows and you'd fill that sock up full of cotton, and you had to fill it up before you could dump it into the trailer. I hoed the weeds in the cotton rows. I uh, tended to the siphon pipes uh, in the ditches at night to water the cotton rows. And then in those same ditches where I tended to the siphon pipes at night, I could go in those ditches and hunt for crawdads, which was the poor boy's lobster. So I'd say I had a good time growing up on the farm. Karen sees herself as a symbol of her father's legacy, driven to building more than houses, but homes. She takes pride in creating a neighborhood where dreams are possible. My childhood was filled with grand openings of communities. My dad brought in the Three Stooges and nearly 15,000 people attended. Those early events were exciting and they were certainly memorable. And of course, no vacation was complete unless we visited model homes. I've always been very grateful to him, giving me the understanding um, how wonderful it is to build the American dream. Karen and Bob have enriched the community through their service as trustees for such charitable organizations as Children's Hospital of Central California, Fresno State University, Habitat for Humanity, and local sports programs like the McCaffrey Classic Basketball Tournament. My parents always wanted me to get a Catholic education. And so they sent me to Garces Memorial High uh, in Bakersfield. And uh, I played a lot of sports, but football was my key sport. I was fairly good at football. And one day uh, I had a USC coach uh, knock on the door and offered me a full ride scholarship to the University of Southern California. Well, fast forward, in my junior year of spring ball at USC, I'm in the famous 901 club. And anybody, anybody who knows anything about USC back in the 60s and 70s knows all about the 901 club. Literally, it could have been the bar out of the Star Wars movie. And in walks this beautiful lady. And my teammate knew her. He had her in a class. And he introduced us. When I saw him, I thought, nice t-shirt. I mean, he was he still is in my eyes. As soon as she left, I said, that is the girl that I'm going to marry. Now, little did I know that her dad was in the building business. He started his own company after World War II. So fast forward a year, I get drafted by the Green Bay Packers. I'm playing ball for, uh, for the Packers. Instead of reading my playbook most of the time, he's sending me contracts and real estate books, and I'm reading the contracts and the real estate books. She became my breakthrough project. He's the love of my life and my best friend. 
and uh, together we dream and build. And life with Bob has been exciting and fulfilling and we've created this wonderful family and this wonderful work and um, I just can't imagine my life without him. Their children, Brent and Lauren, and their spouses, Elizabeth and Ash, are all actively engaged in the family business. And they see their young grandchildren as the next generation to carry on the tradition. It's a tradition that is carried on to the third generation. It gives me an immense amount of pride and joy to be working with, to be working in what I love with those who I love.